Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you this profitable scalping strategy that can make you over a couple of thousand dollars in profits if you use the tools correctly. This is a very simple scalping trading strategy that anyone can use. And I'll walk you through every step so you can start making money right away to help increase your win rate. So make sure you watch to the end so that you will get all the insight and values in the video. Please click the like button for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we upload a new video. Without further ado, let's get started. So for this strategy, you first need to open the trading view chart and set the time frame to 15 minutes or whatever time frame that suits your strategy. The strategy works perfectly well on all markets that have a high level of liquidity and we are open to the price chart of a Tesla stock. So for this strategy, we are going to use three indicators and add to the indicators to the charts. You need to click on the indicators tab over here and search for the first indicator, which is the Da Vinci cheat code. Select this indicator by Jonathan Hill. Now let's understand how these indicators work, but first you need to go to the setting of the indicator to clean up the indicator. And on this input section, you are going to change this first MA length to 25 and the second length to 50 and leave the signal length and other settings to their default. Style section and uncheck the resistance and support. The buy and sell signals and the labels change the color of the fast length to white and increase the thickness and the slow length to yellow and increase the thickness as well. And then click OK. The Da Vinci cheat code indicator helps us to identify buys and sells in the market. This indicator uses these moving averages to show price direction and sometimes as support and resistance zones as a signal to let you know when to start looking to buy or sell. This indicator works on all time frames, but we suggest that you use it on the 15 minute and the one hour chart. The indicator can also be used on all financial asset classes, whether it's crypto, stocks, or Forex. For instance, if you had the price move below these two Da Vinci Code lines, when the price started reversing from here, which resulted in a downward, in a downward movement, Notice that the Da Vinci lines acted as the resistance before the price reached here and it crossed above the line and if you miss this short trade here and you didn't enter the trade, then you will enter this long trade when the price crosses back above the two Da Vinci lines at the close of this candle and set the profit target to a 2 to 1 risk to reward ratio. Now this is the first indicator. So go over to the indicators tab again to add the second indicator to the chart. Now you are going to search for the Q trend indicator and click on this script by Tarasenko. Now go to the setting of the indicator to modify the setting of the indicator. And on this input section, you are going to change this trend period to 25 and this ATR multiplier to three and leave the other settings to their default. Then go to the style section and uncheck this line and all these other options except for this buy and sell signals and click OK. Basically, this indicator helps us to determine our entry points by plotting the buy and sell labels where you have a signal from the Da Vinci cheat code indicator. For instance, this short trade that you missed here could have gotten more confirmation when you got this sell signal from the Qtrend indicator and the price crossed below the Da Vinci code lines, which would have been an indicator's confluence as well. The same thing happened to this buy signal here from the Qtrend indicator. This long trade would have had more confirmation and early entry to the trade, in this way making you more profits from the market. Now let's add the third indicator which is the volume indicator. So go over to the indicators tab again and search for the MACD indicators and click on this one, the moving, the moving average convergence divergence. Now go to the settings of the indicator to modify the settings of the indicator. For this strategy, 
So on the input section, you are going to change this fast length to 34 and this slow length to 144. Then go to the style selection and change the histogram color to an area with breaks for clarity and uncheck this MACD line and the signal line and click OK. Now when you see this histogram area increasing and growing in size, it shows that the volume of buyers is increasing in the market, which may be an early sign of a possible reversal or a confirmation to the signal you have gotten from the first two indicators. The opposite happens when this red part starts increasing, which also means an increase in the volume of sellers in the market, and that you should start looking for a selling opportunity in the market. market. Now let's go ahead and show some examples to bring more light and explanation to this strategy. For this example, we are using the price of XRP USDT contract and on the 15 minute time frame. When you got this sell signal from the Qtrend indicator, the MACD histogram started increasing in size showing the market is gaining more sellers than buyers and the price moved below the Da Vinci cheat code line. But also notice that the movement of price after it crossed below the Da Vinci line was very choppy and the MACD shrinking in size as well and you could have stayed out of the market. But then the MACD histogram changed to green and increasing in size showing more buyers in the market and you got this buy signal from the Q trend and the price crossed above the Da Vinci Code line and you could have placed a long trade at the close of this candle and set your stop loss at this low and extended your profit target to the risk reward of 5 to 1. This trade would have been a high quality trade because you have three indicators confirming the trade. Here is here is another example of the same XRP USDT contract and on the same 15 minute time frame. You can see that price is just consolidating within the Da Vinci code line over here and the MACD histogram is showing that more sellers are in the market than buyers. But because it is red and increasing in size, when you got this sell signal from the Qtrend indicator, the price had crossed below the Da Vinci line and the MACD histogram had increased meaning more sellers and you could have placed a short trade at the close of this candle and set your stop loss at this high and target the 3 to 1 risk reward ratio. When this green histogram started forming and increasing in size as well, the price crossed above the Da Vinci line and you got a buy signal from the Q trend indicator. And you could have placed a long trade here to catch this move at the risk to reward of 1 to 5, which is a pretty nice trade. Here is an example, but we are trading on the price chart of Ethereum USDT contract and on the one hour time frame. You can see that when you got this sell signal from the Q trend, the price had crossed below the Da Vinci cheat code lines and the MACD histogram is red and increasing in size. And you could have placed a short trade at the close of this candle and set your stop loss at this recent high and extend your profit target to a 1 to 9 risk to reward ratio. Now when the price reversed the Da Vinci lines, the prices started consolidating around here. But notice that the green MACD histogram had started forming, meaning more buyers are in the market than sellers and you got this buy signal here and the price crossed the Da Vinci code line. Notice that the MACD histogram is increasing in size as well and you could have placed a long trade like this and set your stop loss at this low and targeted a risk to reward ratio of 1 to 2. So you can see this strategy works well on the financial markets and on all time frames. Now to help us in creating content like this, please click the like button for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to be notified when we upload a new video. Thank you for taking the time to watch, see you in the next